While Airbus's very first A321 XLR has been delivered to airlines, Boeing is still stuck with its 737 MAX program after a massive strike. There may be no chance for the U.S. manufacturer anymore, as Airbus has a new plan for its long-awaited next-generation aircraft. The Game Changers promise to help the European manufacturer consolidate its position in this game. So, what is the real reason for Airbus to build the new plane? Find out in today's episode. The global aviation industry has been stunned by Airbus's run of success as it continues to trounce Boeing, the current dominant player in the aviation market. Airbus not only revolutionized the single-aisle market with its groundbreaking A320neo, but also shook up the industry with the launch of the groundbreaking A321XLR, dubbed a game-changer. Boeing, meanwhile, is still struggling to catch up. What makes Airbus's victory all the more special is not just the results, but also the strategic timing. Rather than focusing on delivering orders while it dominates the market, Airbus has chosen to continue innovating. Airlines around the world are now vying to place orders for the A321XLR, an aircraft designed to fulfill a decades-old dream, connecting cities as far-flung as New York and Rome with a single-aisle aircraft. It's a huge leap forward, and one that the industry has been waiting for. Meanwhile, Boeing, once a giant in the aviation industry, is facing a series of difficulties. The 737 MAX crisis has dealt a serious blow to its reputation and shaken market confidence. Worse, Boeing has yet to launch any aircraft capable of competing with the A321XLR. Even Boeing's oldest and most loyal customers, including Iceland Air, Emirates, Lufthansa, and Delta Airlines, have made the surprising decision to switch to Airbus. This reflects not only a disparity in competitiveness, but also signals a major shift in the aviation industry's power map. Rumors are swirling about a brand new project that Airbus is quietly working on. The aircraft manufacturer is developing a groundbreaking technology that has the potential to fundamentally change the entire commercial aviation industry. A project so ambitious that, if successful, even Airbus's recent triumphs will pale in comparison. What's even more surprising is the speed at which Airbus is pushing this project. Instead of playing it safe, as is the norm, Airbus is plowing billions of dollars into an idea that has never been attempted in the history of commercial aviation. This is more than just building a superior aircraft. It's a grand vision that goes beyond conventional thinking and could reshape the entire future of the industry. So what's driving this bold decision? To understand the motivations behind it, we need to delve deeper into the technologies Airbus is developing in secret in its high security research facilities. One thing is certain, what they are doing is about to change everything we know. But before we dive in, support us by liking this video and subscribing so you'll be the first to see our videos. Now let's get to the rest. Zero E is Airbus's pioneering vision to revolutionize aviation by using hydrogen as its primary fuel source paving the way for a sustainable zero emissions aviation future. The concept includes three groundbreaking aircraft designs, a turboprop for short haul flights, a turbofan for medium haul flights, and a revolutionary blended wing body for long haul flights. Each design not only demonstrates the feasibility of hydrogen propulsion, but also addresses the diverse needs of commercial aviation. These aircraft will use liquid hydrogen stored in specially insulated tanks, combined with advanced fuel cell technology to generate energy, delivering carbon dioxide and neutral operations. In particular, Airbus has set an ambitious target to bring zero-e aircraft to market by 2035, an audacious timeline with unprecedented technical challenges. Hydrogen, while having three times the energy density of conventional jet fuel, requires extremely complex storage and handling technology. To be effective, hydrogen must be kept at extremely low temperatures, minus 253 degrees Celsius, in specially insulated tanks. This required Airbus to completely redesign the aircraft from the ground up, from the airframe to the storage system, to the way the fuel is handled. The process of realizing the project has been in full swing. Airbus has set up dedicated R&D centers across Europe and has established a network of partnerships with leading hydrogen and energy technology manufacturers. The Airbus A380 MSN one test aircraft has been prepared to test and evaluate the groundbreaking Zero-E systems. 
However, the true scale of the project only becomes clear when one realizes that Airbus is not simply developing a new aircraft. It is building a comprehensive ecosystem, including airport infrastructure for hydrogen storage and distribution, and a complete redesign of operations and maintenance. This requires retraining the entire ground crew from how to handle hydrogen fuel to new technical procedures. Maintenance systems must also be reimagined from scratch to suit the operational and safety requirements of the new technology. The complexity of the project is staggering, but Airbus is moving forward with a vengeance, steadily accelerating progress to make it happen. The most intriguing aspect of Airbus's strategy is that it is exploring two parallel approaches to hydrogen power technology. The first uses an advanced gas turbine engine to burn hydrogen directly, generating energy from the combustion process. The second relies on hydrogen fuel cells, which convert the hydrogen into electricity to power the propulsion system. This two-pronged approach clearly demonstrates Airbus's ambition to crack the code for zero emission flight regardless of which solution becomes the standard in the future. The real reason behind Airbus's grand ambition is not simply to maintain its market leadership. It is also a long-term strategy to secure its future in an industry that is about to undergo its biggest revolution since the jet age. Aviation is already a significant contributor to global emissions, and pressure from regulators and the public to reduce its environmental impact is growing rapidly. Airbus not only recognizes this, but also acts with a pioneering vision. Traditional aircraft technology, despite its remarkable progress in fuel efficiency, is unable to meet the increasingly stringent environmental regulations of the future. That is why Airbus has set itself the goal of reducing the emissions of commercial aircraft by up to 50% through hydrogen propulsion technology. What is special is the enormous potential of hydrogen when produced using renewable energy. Hydrogen does not produce carbon dioxide emissions during operation, making it one of the most promising solutions to the environmental challenge in aviation. With this strategy, Airbus is not only focused on meeting stringent standards, but also proactively shaping the future of commercial aviation, a sustainable zero emission future that meets the expectations of both the international community and future generations. Another key driver for Airbus is that whoever succeeds in developing the first viable hydrogen-powered commercial aircraft will not only have a revolutionary product, but also the opportunity to control the cutting-edge aviation technology platform. By acting aggressively now, Airbus is proactively positioning itself to set industry standards, profoundly influence future regulations, and build the infrastructure ecosystem needed for hydrogen aviation. Airbus's strategy becomes even clearer when we look at the network of strategic partnerships it is building. Airbus is not only collaborating with leading energy companies, but also closely collaborating with airports and even car manufacturers. It is through these partnerships that Airbus is launching an initiative to build global hydrogen hubs at major airports around the world. To date, the company has launched studies in 14 different countries each focused on solving specific geographic and infrastructure challenges. The timing of Airbus's initiative is no coincidence. By targeting a 2035 launch date, Airbus is giving itself enough time to solve complex technical challenges while staying one step ahead of increasingly stringent environmental regulations. The company is betting that when those regulations start to become more stringent, it will have a comprehensive and proven solution in place ready to lead the market and usher in a new era for aviation. But if Airbus's ambitious project succeeds, people will wonder what will happen to Boeing. Boeing's situation is challenging enough right now with internal problems and increasing competitive pressure. Boeing, despite its commitment to improving the performance of conventional aircraft, is still focused primarily on developing aircraft using traditional fuels. And it has not yet shown a clear commitment to hydrogen aircraft technology like Airbus. With luck, Airbus will build a complete ecosystem around this hydrogen solution. Airlines will invest in hydrogen infrastructure, and Airbus's operational training programs may be tied to the European manufacturer's technology. The huge cost and complexity of supporting two completely different engine systems will make it difficult for airlines to operate both at the same time. The reality is not far off that instead of focusing solely on current fleet needs, Many airlines have begun to consider long-term factors, including their commitment to low emissions targets 
and their compatibility with Airbus technology. This could lead to a situation where Airbus not only dominates the market, but also shapes the standards and development roadmap of the entire aviation industry. Boeing, on the other hand, will have to play defense, struggling to catch up. Each A321 XLR order today is not only profitable for Airbus, but also has the potential to become a stepping stone to pave the way for future orders for the hydrogen-powered Zero-E aircraft. What is even more interesting is the powerful ripple effect this strategy could have across the industry. As airports invest in hydrogen infrastructure to serve Airbus aircraft, they are also inadvertently creating an ecosystem that attracts more airlines to use Airbus aircraft. Likewise, equipment and technology suppliers will shape their development programs based on Airbus's technical requirements, further deepening the market's dependence on its technology. Even pilot training will have to adapt to prepare for the next generation of aircraft, placing Airbus in a position to not only lead, but also set the global standard for sustainable aviation. However, Airbus is not alone in this innovation journey. Embraer, the famous Brazilian aircraft manufacturer, is also pursuing its own ambition to develop a fully autonomous aircraft capable of taking off and landing without any pilot intervention. Although the directions are slightly different, this shows that the race to shape the future of aviation is not just focused on one aspect, but a combination of breakthrough innovations. It is clear that those who grasp the trend first will gain market share and establish a leading role in the next generation of global aviation. Do you think Airbus will continue to maintain its position at the top, or can Boeing and other forces seize the opportunity to rise? Feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.